So I'll do a little talk. Hello, this is Tom, Negotiating with Jesus. I'll do a little talk today and just tell you about my life. So I did all my morning routine, which is I wake up, I turn on my Bible app, and it reads me 10 chapters from sections of the Bible. Uh, the Moses sections, the prophet sections, the Psalms, which are these songs or poems, prayers. So I do that, I make my coffee, I use the bathroom, I do normal stuff. And then while the Bible's reading, I do my breathing exercise, I do my other sit-ups right now. I'm not doing too many exercises because I'm old and I hurt too many, too many places. But I want to keep pushing and doing exercises. Then I do my Padre Nuestro because I want to learn Spanish and I need an assistant for that to happen. <laughs> you really have to get that immersion, I think, uh, because it's hard to learn a new language, an old dog learning a new trick. I played my guitar. I did my exercise and then my songs. And I imagined uh, myself playing at an open mic. There occasionally have open mics, and I think I'm going to try and get to an open mic. And once again, every once in a while, I play in front of people. And it's a bit nerve-wracking. And you have to know your songs. You have to know them well, because... You're nervous, uh, so you have to do that. So, uh, also happening, I had a little flood in my basement a couple days ago. So, I've got a problem there that I have to try and solve. And it's it's been the problem since I've owned this house. So, it's been since 2010. We've had occasional uh, flooding in the basement. Mostly just puddle, puddling. Uh, I've solved some of the problems, but there's still a big problem there. So you can't finish a basement that <laughs> that you're standing five inches in water. That's You can't have floating furniture. That will not last. So I'd solve that in order to use make the basement useful. It's not clear that I can have a good solution. I'm actually going to talk to my neighbor. Because he has the same problem. And I'm going to try and he's a... He's an accomplished man. So he has money. And he's he's just picked some courses. He's different character than me. He's some disciplined whatever kind of character. He decided what he's going to do in life. Started his own business and was successful. So he has the same thing. He moved in, I don't know, five, six, seven years ago. And has the same issue with water. And it's it's me and him as far as I can tell. <laughs> of all the houses, we're kind of on the downhill. And whatever's going on, it's me and him for sure have water problems. And I have taxes to do. So just thinking about as you grow up. And uh, so I'm, I'm in this little corner of Paul Vanderclay. And Paul was talking yesterday about the idea of, of sexual boundaries. How do you say the things that people are allowed to do? How do you put boundaries and cultural pressures on people? So there are pressures you're not, and even laws, you're not allowed to marry your sister. You're not allowed to have sex with your sister. And it's just like, or your children. It's like, no kidding. Are there boundaries to sex? Yes. Consent is not everything. There are boundaries. And everyone agrees that there must be, but we're so promiscuous uh, and becoming so pagan that we want to eliminate a lot of boundaries. And I'm saying we as this giant culture, which is a conglomerate of people who have strong boundaries, people who have no boundaries, people who want to, they're like wolves, they want to feast on the flesh of others. There are people like that. If you don't think so, that's weird. Uh, so people who want to use anything they can get their hands on, they're hungry, like a wolf. So uh, the Paul Vanderclay world. So YouTube, uh, according to what I understand, is, is a, a male-dominated domain. So probably a 
a man or a young man is watching this video, if anybody does, probably might. This will have one or two viewers. That's fine. I don't care. But one of the things these videos are to do is to try and help. If you're older, wiser, if you've been through some stuff, help young, young men. So if men are watching this video, you want to help them not be a wolf. Don't consume the flesh of the innocent, the weak. That's what wolves are going to do. They're going to find the weak one in the herd and they're going to grab it by the neck and do what they want with it. So that, you know, that metaphor that a, a man can be a wolf and use a woman and then throw her away. What boundaries shall we do? But, but uh, my point was that this is one of the things that these videos should be is help to other men, young men. If you're an older man, for goodness sakes, you have some experience that is useful. If you're a younger man, look for somebody who has some experience that's useful. <laughs> look around, seek wisdom. You can seek more time playing video games, but maybe you can seek wisdom. And it's everywhere and everyone wants to disperse wisdom. That's what humans want to do to help each other. And we're not always in a mood to be helped or a mindset. It's a little humbling, but uh, yeah, we have to be some amount of humble. So taxes, water, I've got problems. I have to sort them out, figure out which are the priorities. So taxes are due. I've got them done. I have to, uh, I wasn't, my stupid turbo tax said, we think it'd be better if you didn't e-file. It's like, well, I would like you to e-file. And I have to decide if I'm just going to mail in my taxes, which is fine. It's doable, but it's annoying that TurboTax won't simply e-file. So TurboTax, uh, it's nice that you helped me for $150 or whatever. It's nice that you were helpful. But then you stopped a little short. Uh, so, yeah, not that happy with TurboTax. But I, my taxes are done, so I got to send them in. So you have to prioritize. So that has to happen in the next week and a half or so. I got other things coming up. So these videos are to be helpful to tell you that I have struggles. I have things I have to do. Uh, and things that, you know, the dreams, the things you want to do. So I'd like to go on a vacation with my two girls. It's not clear that I have the cash flow for that. I might have a staycation. Uh, I'll get my taxes in and maybe get a little, uh, a little money through that. I'm going to continue to play guitar. I have to go to work in a few minutes and get the girls up and get them ready for school in a few minutes. I'm going to continue to read uh, through the book of Mark. So I have these things that I'm now trying to be more structured than I had been in, in the past. So uh, these videos are me thinking about tasks and how to accomplish them. It's to be helpful to young men, whoever might view this. It's to be helpful. I'm to be a little bit entertaining enough or likable enough that maybe a couple people will join me. Maybe one or two. So I'm not looking to be a star, but I am looking to be part of the online world, whatever we're transi transitioning into. I think that you put your profile up and you talk to people and you tell them, I'm here to help. And you try and serve the world in this way and locally. So in my local community, I try and be a helpful character. Uh, one of the things is you want to... <laughs> You want to do good, it'd be nice if, if people weren't wolves using and discarding people. If you want to do good in the world, that's, that's way better than people who want to do ill, want to do evil, want to do, bring bad into the world. There's plenty of bad, and it's maybe even getting on you. Bad comes in contact, and it's not, it's not good, it's bad. Obviously, so why don't we together continue to put these profiles up, 
find ways to communicate, find ways to work in your local community to bring good rather than bad. Let's, let's swap that out. Let's be productive citizens. Let's try and think about hard issues and let's not get freaked out uh, when somebody says something that you might disagree with. So we'll try and sort this out. That's it. This is Tom negotiating with Jesus. I got videos to upload.